My name is Jeffrey Orkin and we are filming in Greener Roots Farm. This is a hydroponic vertical farm in Nashville, Tennessee. I started this farm to help supply local produce to Nashville year-round. The goal of the farm was to grow as much stuff as I possibly could indoors year-round, um, kind of negating the seasonality aspect of local food. My background is in landscape architecture and I spent several years doing design build uh, for an architecture firm and really developed a passion for sustainability um, and our food system is one of the primary aspects where sustainability interests me. Um, I decided to go back to school to get a master's in business with a concentration in sustainability and spent some time in California at a food security summit and my mind was really open to issues around food sovereignty, food security and access to fresh healthy local food and at the time I was living in a condo in downtown and so this spurred my interest in growing things indoors um, and hydroponics is an ex exceptional way to grow high quality food quickly indoors. So I began experimenting in a storage unit and then I expanded to an unused utility room on the roof of a building that I was living in in downtown. And from there expanded to this facility which is a 6,000 square foot warehouse. Um, we currently have built 2,000 square feet of growing space with plans to expand in the future. I connected with Jeremy Barlow, who's the owner of a local restaurant called Sloco, that's a sandwich shop that focuses on local food. And he began purchasing product from me as a part of my research and development to study the market here in Nashville. And as I expanded, he was quick to buy into the expansion. He very quickly began purchasing product and was the first customer of Greener Roots Farm. Currently we are supplying him all of his leafy greens that he uses in both of his locations with a third location opening early next year. My name is Jeremy Barlow and I own Sloco, which is a burgeoning sandwich shop in Nashville and we focus on local and organic sandwiches. A few years ago I had this uh, groovy guy come in and, and ask if I'd buy some, some lettuce and. Uh, I think he's a great success story talking about urban ag. I spent a lot of time doing research, spent a lot of time looking at all the creative ways people are growing in an urban environment. What Jeffrey gives us is an opportunity to lock in on a green that's high quality, that's always available, and um, that's grown to our specifications. So it's our mix of flavors and it's, it's always there. And he can supply our needs in his new warehouse. So, I mean, we're looking at 30 pounds of greens a week with just two stores. And with every time we add a store, it's not just adding one store, it, it bumps the usage up everywhere. So he provides us an opportunity to guarantee green supply as we move forward, which is pretty awesome. And that's not always the case with local. And that's the argument against local and scalability. You know, when you're talking about local food, sustainable food, and how we feed the population moving forward, Scalability and price are the two things that the opponents say you're never going to be able to do it. So finding ways, you know, awareness is there, right, to step back. Everybody knows local and organic is the way to go. I think across the board, across demographics, everybody knows it's the right way to eat. The question is, how do we get it to everybody and how do we do it in a way that they can afford it? So that's what our sandwich shop is for. That's what Jeffrey brings us is a proof of that scalability can work, where you can set systems up where you can increase ag, you can increase food within an urban environment.